Welcome to the summary of the news of the month of March by Imbonita TV. In the Imbonita talk show that took place, the discussion was mainly about finding ways of how people who no longer live in Burundi can come back and decide to invest and bring back their businesses in Burundi. The Truth Revealed Church invited Pastor Naiman Adjodone to the Sunday church service where he talked about understanding salvation, also stating some of the requirements for one to become a son of God. Servants of God in the city of Bujumbura came together in unity, discussing about various aspects of life of the Church of Christ in Burundi. My profession is the reflection of God's glory. This is what the conference that gathered doctors was about with the aim of learning together more about the profession. On March 23rd, the leadership training school started with the aim of teaching more about leadership. Carry the Love is a work that unites children of God from different countries and different churches in Burundi in the spirit of evangelism. Hello, welcome to the news summary that you presented by Imbonese TV, and this is Katie. As usual, at the end of the month, DNF organization proposed a discussion called Imbonese Talk Show, whereby they talk on different topics about Burundians in general. In the fifth month, a talk show was organized to look at what can motivate the diaspora to come back to invest in Burundi. Let's listen to the whole story. What would make Burundians living outside Burundi return to invest in Burundi? That was the theme of the first Imboneza talk show of the year 2022. It was on the 6th March. In this conversation, the speakers invited lived abroad and decided to come back and talked of their experiences. As we can see, Jean-Claude Makaka and his wife Aurélie, the leaders of the Carpus Church, Thierry Ndawigenge Sere, the leader of the organization Great at Vision, Nwari Aurel Igor, the leader of Padza. Some of the speakers at the evening say that Burundians abroad are divided in four different categories. The first category is of those that live abroad because of work or education. The second is of those that move their businesses abroad. The third is of those that wanted to expand, meaning they wanted to cover a much larger area than Burundi. The fourth is of those who were in a situation where they were obliged to move out of the country because of security. They say that returning to the country to work is very important because our country still has a lot of work to be done by by each of the four categories, depending on what was the initial reason of the departure from the country. That it requires for which one of them to first recognize which of the four categories they are in to be able to help. After that, the following step would be to find out where the problems are and to offer a possible solution. That where it is possible to be done may be done, and for the rest who are still abroad and those in the country to support each other, working together for national development in general. They ended by encouraging Burundians abroad who would like to return to Burundi to take the time to prepare and get ready, as this will help them to live in harmony with the community. We would like to inform you that the Magic Guards team was invited, making the conversation more enjoyable. Pastor Nahimana Diodone from Oasis Christian Center Church visited Truth Without Ministry, whereby he shared with them a word that we find in the book of Ephesians, through which he focused a lot on principal things that composed salvation. Let's listen to Tracy Manila Tanga. On Sunday, 13th March 2022, Pastor Naiman Adiodone was invited to the Truth Revealed Church, accompanied by other pastors and members of the Church of Oasis Christian Center Church, where he was warmly welcomed and conveyed his greetings. In his sermon, he focused on understanding the elements of salvation, where he reminded us that to be born again as a child of God truly requires the following. Hearing the gospel that produces faith in him, leading him to salvation, repentance and changing to then follow God fully, to change from habits that do not honor God, God justifies him through the resurrection of Jesus Christ to be justified not by his works but by faith in Christ, to be born again, get a brand new spirit, have a new nature and be made a child of God. He added that we must understand what it means to be a child of God, that is, to be a heir with Christ and share his inheritance so that you can serve God with dignity in this world as we find it in Ephesians 1, 15-23. To think about what can be done so that the gospel can go far, it is so important for the church to be kind to people that haven't known God. That's what has been said in the faith minister's breakfast that gathered pastors from different churches. 
Pastors from various churches in Bujumbura have reunited for the fifth time during the minister's breakfast, where they mainly talked about having a heart of love for others, like the love the Father had for those on earth that he gave his only begotten Son. They took time to reflect on evangelism concerns, asking themselves if they are pushed by love, thinking of the people that seem difficult to reach, and what methods can be used to reach them. And again, took time to look at the way churches should be organized based on what the Word of God says. After that, they took time to pray concerning concerning the different subjects that were mentioned during the conversation. During the Christian and Mental Association organized the conference to people who are in medicine schools, to the graduated, and to those who are having jobs. Different professors were invited. Let's listen to the news. On Saturday 9th of April 2022, Burundi Christian and Mental Association, in collaboration with various organizations such as Judene Naimana Foundation, Initiatives in Medical Intervention Fellowship, Mehenayam Medical Supplier, and Jaws of Love, organized a conference that reunited Christian doctors at the national level for the seventh edition with the motto, My Profession, the Reflection of God's Glory. One of the teachers, Naiman Adyodone, emphasized on the word found in Colossians 3, 23 to 25, where he explained that even if we are in the world, we should not look up to the world as an example in what we do, urging them to not work for money, but to use it as a tool to reach many for Christ, and that when they pray, they should ask God to show them who they ought to serve. For what will set them apart from others is that they will not only work for material things, but will work together to show the love of Christ in the world. He concluded by reminding those present that we are one of the richest countries in the world, but still poor in our way of thinking. That if we who know God could live as God's word requires us in all sectors, it would take us a short time to see change taking place. Understanding leadership is key. It is in that way the class of leadership was started, by which different people gathered to receive the knowledge that will bring transformation in their careers. On Tuesday, March 23, 2022, the leadership school began with a look at the long-running curriculum with the aim of understanding what is leadership. The teacher of the day, who was Naiman Adjodone, through the testimony of his life, explained on the five types of leadership, where he said that everyone has a personal type of leadership and that in our differences, everyone has a special value, which brings us back to the question that says, how do I use my gift to serve others? He says that the answer to that question is that we understand that everyone in the world is a beneficiary of the gift God has given us and that once you have helped people through your gift, they also care about your well-being. He concluded by saying that leadership is about to bring change, reminding them that the school will help bring about a far-reaching change, a change that is not limited to one person's existence here on earth, but a change that even after their existence will continue to be visible, just as Jesus, one of the leaders, will often learn from. We would like to inform you that these leadership trainings will be held every Tuesday from 6 p.m. at Oasis Christian Center Church, Kinindo. A big team of missionaries came from different countries for the gospel. After moments of pressing and learning together with Burundians, they went out to preach and different preachers were present. About 5,172 people received Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior in the Carry the Love Evangelism, which was organized by evangelists from about 67 countries in collaboration with members of different churches in the city of Bujumbura. They spent four days in evangelism all over the city of Bujumbura, telling people about Christ. It took place from the 4th to the 7th of April. After those evangelism days, they have organized a festival named Carry the Love Festival at the Tompet Field from the 8th to the 10th of April, where they have had special moments of celebration, teaching on the love of Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, forgiveness, and more. One of the preachers in the festival, Naiman Adyodone, talked about forgiveness by using his testimony of how he was wounded by the one who killed his father. He said that forgiveness opens up many doors in our lives, but that it does not end there after you have forgiven the one who has hurt you, but that you need to do an action of love or kindness to them. When you forgive just as Christ has asked us to do, it is more beneficial to you as it frees you by bringing back your joy and peace. After that moment of hearing the word of God, there was a moment of prayer for those who want to start ministering for the Lord through evangelism and many other sectors in Burundi. They ended up praising and worshipping the Lord for his faithfulness for all these days they had spent. Thank you all for watching the TV. Stay tuned.